Hi Jade, I wanted to start off by saying thank you for letting me respond to your essay. You had a lot of really great analysis and we shared a lot of ideas within our responses so I, I appreciated getting to hear somebody else reiterate the ideas that I had come to um, after reading the essay and watching the videos so thank you for that. Um, I wanted to start off by saying that I was definitely able to relate to how you mentioned the amount of time that it takes to develop and create an interesting um, view. I thought it was interesting because I definitely uh, never thought that a big philosopher would really take a lot of time to develop their ideas. I kind of just, because they're such a huge educational entity, I, I guess I assumed that it would have been quick and that they would have developed their ideas right off the bat and that it would have been totally complete within an, um, the small amount of time because they're so, so education, um, educationally, you know, beneficial now. But I, I don't know, I just had never made that connection. But it's interesting to see that because I definitely feel that is that it takes me time to develop my ideas and to, to fully understand different things. So it's cool to kind of ground yourself and to see that even those giant, you know, um, educational entities that we study nowadays take um, just as much time as we do to come to ideas, specifically in philosophy and um, coming to understand our own sense of consciousness. And I was able to relate this to um, the idea of cooking. So as you're taking something um, and you're, you're marinating it within sauces and spices and stuff like that, you're allowing it to take time to develop those flavors similar to the way that as we study things, we're allowing our brain to take time to develop our own opinions and develop ideas um, so I just thought that was an interesting way to look at it but um, uh, next I, I definitely agree with you and your idea um, about Kant's ideas about space and time existing in our brain um, I agree with you is that I I didn't necessarily fully agree with Kant because I felt like um, it was a little bit of a reach because you mentioned the baby ideas that like babies aren't going to fully be able to understand time and space just right as they come into this world that just doesn't work like that and I, I interpreted it as you need to have an aha moment like you need to have that that time that you come to this realization within within your mind and that you're able to understand the difference between space and time and all these different things that come together to form our universe and our consciousness so I thought that that was interesting that you mentioned that as well is that you need to you need to come to a time where you finally understand uh, this idea of consciousness um, and the idea of space and time rather than just having it exist in your mind at all times is you kind of need um, you need it to switch on kind of like a light switch you gotta turn it on and and, and have that moment in order to be able to fully understand what um, those ideas that were presented. Um, I also really thought that your ideas compare um, comparing um, thoughts and our mind, this idea of we're not fully able to uh, see our minds, although we're able to have this idea and we're able to see pictures. We cannot see our exact mind, similar to seeing our eyes, is that we can't actually see them except for in a reflection. So I thought that that was interesting because... Um, I think that because of this, we cannot claim to know things that are only proved with reasoning, um, which I, I think is interesting because a lot of the way that I like rationalize my own understanding of things is by you, you know, rationalizing, utilizing reasoning to, to come to a conclusion. Um, but, you know, it was presented within the essay, this idea that you can't fully um, understand anything just by using reasoning. So I thought it was cool that you um, had a little bit of analysis on that idea within your essay and it helped me understand it a little bit better. So I appreciated that. Um, the last thing that I really wanted to mention within your essay was the idea that everything forms a relationship with its opposite. I definitely highlighted that a lot within my own essay because I feel like um, knowing that everything gives rise to its opposite show gives a lot of reasoning as to why they are completely opposite ideas is that it's it's this idea that one is a fully comprehended idea of one thing whereas the and then the other goes and challenges that completely and so by seeing those two different things you're able to see things from different sides and be able to apply every different little thing to your life so I thought that was interesting and and um, apply it to your own consciousness as an individual and uh, see how each opposing force um, each little thing applies to a developing a sense of consciousness and um, I was able to relate that to the idea of Karl Marx within the videos that we we watched. Um, this might be a little bit of a stretch, but this idea of everything giving rise to its opposite, I think, gives reason as to why Karl Marx was so against capitalism was because he was stuck with communism, which we see is the complete opposite of capitalism. So I thought it was interesting because it's like, you see, he ha he definitely agrees more with these ideas presented within the communist uh, the communist communist ideal set, and by 
by seeing that he agrees with that, he is seeing that there's the opposite with capitalism and he's disagreeing with those ideas because they're, you know, like magnets going up against each other and um, just opposing themselves as opposite forces within the universe. But anyway, I really appreciate getting to read your essay. Thanks.